Hello, um, today is National Spinal Cord Injury Awareness Day in the UK and I am doing my bit today, uh, sending out a video message to you all uh, to raise awareness of that and to kind of talk a little bit about why I got behind the Backup Trust particularly out of all of the five charities uh, that are putting uh, the whole project together today. Um, yeah, every eight hours somebody finds out that they may never walk again uh, because they've suffered a spinal cord injury and um, one of the things that Backup do um, is be there for that person. Um, I was injured um, at quite a high level, uh, right high up in my neck and um, because of that I had every limb affected in my body um, and I couldn't move. I basically lost my life. Uh, I didn't actually literally die but the life that I had and led before my injury, that pretty much died. Um, yeah, so now I have my new life, but before I could start living it, I had to learn how I had to learn how to live that life. Um, I have learned so much about the human body and things about the way things work that I never really thought I'd ever know, and I really wish I didn't know them. In, in some respects, but there you go. Um, thanks to Backup, I was able to pull myself together, if you like. Um, they were able to provide me with a mentor um, who would talk to me um, about the issues that they'd gone through and the way that they dealt with problems, because the mentor was um, of a similar level of injury to me. Um, I was able to tell them about the problems that I had and um, yeah, just blow off steam if I needed to or ask them about certain issues that, um, you know, came up. I basically thought my life was over, which in a way, like I said, you know, it was. Um, I thought I would never have any independence ever again. I thought I had lost all my dignity, um, that I would never have privacy again. Um, I thought um, I would never be able to have a relationship um, or sex. I thought I would never be able to go shopping again or go out for a coffee with my friends. Um, yeah. It took a full year um, before I actually got my power chair. So basically, after I left the spinal unit, I sat in my manual wheelchair. Um, and I couldn't move it because my arms and my hands, they're just not strong enough and don't have enough signals uh, sent to them from the nervous system um, to get them to move in the right way. Um, so yeah, I'd be sat in my manual wheelchair in that house that didn't belong to me um, and I'd be staring out the window all day and I wouldn't move all day. Um, I wouldn't go out. Um, I'd see my parents occasionally and uh, the odd friend occasionally um, and that was it. That was my life. Um, which was a far cry to what it was before my injury. Um, yeah, thanks to backup um, and from that mentoring, I ended up getting myself a dog. Um, it's just the way it went for me. Um, and because of that dog, I went out. Um, I had to go out. I had to walk it. And um, yeah, it made me feel a lot less conspicuous because I wasn't the crazy girl in a wheelchair um, going about doing stuff. 
I was just a person taking their dog for a walk. Oh, and I happen to be in a wheelchair. And whether it's just about the way I was perceiving myself or how others actually were perceiving me, I, I don't really know. Um, I suppose really it's about m how I was perceiving myself, I guess, um, and the way my confidence was being rebuilt um, so that I could go on and do things. Um, yeah, this is why I guess I put out the one day in a wheelchair challenge um, to spend one whole day from waking to sleeping in my manual wheelchair um, to see what it's like really um, to help raise awareness of what it's like living in a wheelchair um, I mean it won't be anything like having an SCI um, and I know my friends appreciate that but it will also give some idea of you know this, this chair can't be propelled uh, it has to be pushed so they've got to think about how they're going to get around how they're going to get fed how they're going to cook their meals um, just the way I did um, and you know we'll go out and hopefully they'll see their friends or they'll talk to people what about why they're in the chair and it'll just raise awareness of what people go through um, it is horrific there's no other word for it really um, at no matter what level of injury you have whether it's right up at C1 which is right at the top of your neck all the way right down to um, your like sacral section right down at the bottom of your spine um, I mean look at me with my medical knowledge of the spine you know I, I don't think I should know this sort of stuff I'm a geography teacher but you know now I do because it's all part of my new life um, and yeah you know the backup trust have helped me to, to get my head around the fact that it is a new life um, they do all kinds of courses you know they do independence courses they do city challenges so people who are scared to go out in their wheelchair have the support there whilst they're learning how to get around a city, how to use a bus, how to use a taxi, how to, you know, approach and tackle curbs, how to get in and out of public places and shops and, you know, you wouldn't think that going shopping in town for clothes could be such a traumatic experience, but my God, it is, it really is. Um, you know, you're at, basically, you're at child height you know and all the clothes are up there somewhere and you're having to think hmm would that fit me would that suit me I'm not sure you know it's not like you can just whip it whip it off the uh, the railing and um, put it up against your body to check it out like you would do before I don't know I'm just I'm rambling now so I suppose I should stop and, um, and just say you know if you're watching this, then thank you for putting up so far with my ramble. And um, please do get behind the One Day in a Wheelchair Challenge by sponsoring it. Um, and do go to the Just Giving page to do that. Um, or check out the SCI Awareness page that I've got on Facebook. There should be links for them on whatever web page that you found this uh, video. Okay, that's enough from me as this has been a very long ramble and yeah, I think I should stop now. Uh, okay, goodbye and uh, please donate. Thank you.